Like most people who live in Inverclyde, I was shocked in anger to hear the treatment of those much valued charity workers who run Inverclyde Hospital Tea Bar. The way they've been treated has angered the whole of the community, leading to a petition, a campaign by the local newspaper to get this daft decision reversed. Later today, in this chamber, I will call for the Health Minister's support to ensure that the Hospital League of Friends at Inverclyde Royal Hospital are allowed to continue the good work that they do for our community long into the future. I thank the Cabinet Secretary for her answer today and I have noted her public uh, comments and I accept that the Roma Cafe concept she, she has endorsed uh, has some merit, but I hope she could accept that a one-size-fits-all approach is not appropriate and these cafes should not displace hard-working charities and volunteers like the Hospital League of Friends at Inverclyde Royal Hospital. Well, the Cabinet, uh, the Cabinet Secretary is aware that the Chairman of NHS Greater Glasgow and Clyde, Andrew Robinson, is to visit the tea bar in the coming days after 5,000 people signed a petition in support of the volunteers. Will the Cabinet Secretary ensure that Mr Robinson takes with him a message of gratitude for their efforts, an apology for the shabby way they have been treated in the last few weeks, and most importantly, an assurance that they will be allowed to continue their good work for the hospital and the wider community for a very long time to come. Cabinet Secretary. Uh, can I begin uh, by echoing uh, Duncan McNeill's comments about the League of Friends and similar organisations that do a fantastic job on behalf of the NHS, and I know that all NHS boards uh, respect and value that work, and I would fully ex expect Andrew Robertson or any other health board chair to communicate those sentiments uh, to volunteers doing that kind of work. As I've already said, the trial of the Aroma concept is underway. Uh, it's important to stress that the brand is owned by Health Facilities Scotland, not by any particular health board. And health Facilities Scotland have been very clear that they will not agree to any further rollout uh, beyond the sites I've already mentioned until the trial has been fully evaluated. So it's premature for any board at this stage to commit uh, to an Aroma Cafe at any hospital not involved in the trial site, and that would include uh, the IRH. I understand that Health Facilities Scotland uh, will meet with Greater Glasgow and Clyde shortly to emphasise that no decision should be taken uh, prior to the evaluation of the trial. Are we going to get a change, you hope? You watched the question yesterday in the Cabinet segment. How did you feel about that? I thought it was a very, very good question and I was quite heartened by it. I just felt it was um, another wee step forward. Great. You know, as you yeah. say, it's not, we, can't, we can't celebrate yet, but I think um, it's nice to actually move it forward. I mean, we know the support, so it's, we've got to do something about it now. Yeah, so, so I think the 6th of May that the Chairman's coming, what, what's your message for him? Well, I think he's got to come with an open mind and I think he's got to see the, the, the environment that's here and how the hospital has, has been quoted as saying this is the heart of the hospital. And I think he should come and see the clients that use this and uh, just how much the, the petition has proved that we are supported and you should really think long and hard about the community and the aspect of serving the community rather than the pound shillings and pence. I think that says a lot.